you're still here? Lysithia, hi. Did you forget something? I did. What are you reading? Just something I found. Though there are things in here I don't quite get. Is that the Compendium of Light and Dark? It is! Amazing how you could tell that just from a glance at the cover. I've read it so many times, I have nearly the entire thing memorized. That said, it does seem to take liberties with some topics, so be aware of that while you're reading it. Wait, really? Yikes. Thanks for the warning. You've got quite the stack of books here for only wanting to brush up on one thing. I knew you were a hard worker, Annette. No, not as much as some people. I'm... Oh, sorry. There I go again. It's all right. In getting to know you, I've taken some time to self-reflect. I used to think that I worked harder than anyone. But I'm not so sure anymore. I have to work even harder to keep pace with you. Oh no! But then I'll have to work extra, extra hard to keep up with you! Well, if you work extra, extra hard, I'll need to work super duper extra hard. Oh, come on! Fine. Super duper quadruple extra hard it is. Okay, okay. That's enough. We could do this forever, but we've got better things to do. <laughs> Sorry. It's fun to see you get carried away like that, though. I'm glad we had this chat. I feel excited to continue working super duper extra hard now. <laughs> I'm lucky to have someone like you around to inspire me. <laughs> I feel the same. I'll do my best to keep pace with you. Why are you smiling? Oh, it's nothing. I was just thinking about how nice it is that we can motivate each other like this. It is nice, isn't it? But I still intend to surpass you. Nuh-uh, I'm gonna surpass you. But before that... <laughs> Could you explain this part of the book to me? I'm not quite sure how someone of your caliber is struggling with this one, but let me break it down for you. to you and farewell just a moment hilda how are you feeling sorry oh uh fine i'm doing just fine i'm glad to hear it i had heard that you requested a substitute for your cleaning duty due to an illness <sighs> you really do know everything Seth. just prior to that you also asked for someone to take your place with table setting i believe that was due to a uh, wrist injury it was not too serious i hope Ah, you heard about that. The wrist is all healed up, thank you. I seem to recall also that you declined to participate in a mock battle. That was due to a headache, yes? I have a very fragile body, you see? <laughs> it's so kind of everyone to make accommodations. Indeed. It is a great friend who offers to help without complaint. See that you treasure such friends, and that you return the favor. Of course! Well then, I should really be... By the way... Was there something else you wanted? It so happens I am on my way to the chapel to offer my prayers. Would you care to join me? No, oh, no, I, I wouldn't want to intrude. I've already offered up all my prayers for the day. Marvelous! We must always remember to give our thanks to the goddess. It is essential that we offer our prayers to her each day, that we reflect on our deeds and strive to live as she would want us to live. For the goddess sees all that we say and do. Oh, I... Now, if you will excuse me. Of course. Goodbye now. is Sedith so scary? It feels like he can see right through me. I guess that's his way of saying stop being lazy. I wish he'd just scold me outright. 
This is precisely why I try to avoid him. Oh, how I just love to clean, clean the library room. Just takes a flash of light, and then it all goes boom. A flash, and then a big boom. If you blow up the library, where will we put the books? A flash, and then a big boom! What are you doing here, Felix? I heard singing. You were watching me again, weren't you? <laughs> well, your skill is impressive, I'll admit. Oh, today of all days! I knew I should have chosen a different song. A different song? Like what? <sighs> Any of them! The box song? Or maybe the dungeon song? Now those sound interesting. No, they're just regular songs. Forget it. <sighs> While you're here, can you help me clean up? I need the books on that shelf up there, but I can't reach them. Oh, sure. No problem. What? You're not going to sing anymore? No way! It's too embarrassing. And that song isn't even finished anyway. Ah, that's too bad. I wanted to hear what happened after the library was blown away. Hey, don't look at me like that. Okay, fine. If you insist, I'll sing just a bit more. Oh, how I just love to clean, clean the library room. Just takes a flash of light, and then it all goes boom. A flash, and then a big boom. Suddenly the deed is done. My, what a great job I did. Who says cleaning isn't fun? Huh. That doesn't really explain what happened with the library. Maybe they'll build a new one? <laughs> oh, this is so embarrassing. Hello, Professor. What brings you here? Fancy a bit of fishing? Are you looking for help with something? Ah, no. Your eyes tell a different story. You know, I can hardly go fishing without thinking of old Gerald. He and I would just sit here, casting our lines again and again. <laughs> I'm no better at it now than I was then. Not a single nibble. Uh, just like your father. You know all the tricks of the fisherman's trade. I was hopeless at it, but he was a master. In the time it took me to catch one fish, he could fill his basket to the brim. You know, talking to you, I'm feeling very nostalgic. Why don't you join me? We can trade some stories about the old man. We spoke before about how Gerald never seemed to age, right? Once, when he was drunk, he let the secret slip. He said he'd had an infusion of crest-bearing blood, and it had greatly extended his life. Drinking. I, I figured he was joking, so I just laughed it off. Then I asked him his age. He said he'd stopped counting after he hit 100. And he was telling the truth. In those 20 years he was away, he didn't age a bit. An incredible person, to be sure. And I probably don't know the half of it. Actually, I'd, I'd like to ask you something about Gerald, if you don't mind. When Gerald was away from the monastery, what was he like? In other words, he was exactly the same. When he was with the knights, he always found time to go fishing. He was 
hooked on it, you might say. He'd say there was no greater pleasure in life than sinking his teeth into a fish he'd caught and washing it down with a drink. Uh, I have to say, right now, fishing with you, it really takes me back. This feels just like the good old days, when Gerald was sitting alongside me. Yeah. <laughs>